11 million bushels of old crop soybeans. That didn't help prop up prices. Ag Day's Michelle Rook is back with more in Markets Now. A mix close in the greens on Friday. Tom Fitzhammer with Summit Commodity Brokerage joining us with analysis. Tom, after the reversals on Thursday, we didn't get a lot of follow through in the greens on Friday, did we? No, it really didn't. I did. Fr Friday was good. Uh, we, made, we made an attempt at a rally, uh, particularly in the corn. Well, in both of them, corn and soybeans. Um, right off the bat, but but it didn't hold. We ended up, like you said, closing mix. So it really was kind of a, uh, there was some hopefulness because of those reversals Thursday, but uh, they just, uh, you know, you have those rallies and you just run into selling. Uh, the Fens have, have been selling for quite a while. They're comfortable doing that. And uh, they've been willing to, anytime it pops up, to jump, jump on it. So until something changes fundamentally, I'm guessing they're going to continue to do that. There's not a lot going on fundamentally that's all that positive at this point. Well, you just can't rally a market being oversold, though, Tom, right? Right, correct. I, I, that, that's one of the one thing people bring up to me all the time. Well, I need to buy it because it's oversold. Well, the problem with being oversold is you can go sideways for a few days and you work your way out of that oversold condition. So it doesn't necessarily mean you have to rally all that much. As we start a new week, what are we going to be focused on as far as Brazil weather? And do you think we'll see a little pickup in farmers selling with better weather? That That's the question. Uh, for sure, uh, South American weather will, will, will be impactful. There's some talk about some dry weather in Argentina, but they've had enough rain recently that I think their soil moisture is pretty good. So I don't think that's going to be a big deal. Um, we're starting to harvest some beans. In, uh, in Brazil, which is going to lead pretty rapidly to, to the beginning of the planting of the safrina crop. Uh, so they'll, they'll be watching that next week, although I don't suppose it's going to be a big deal because I think the rains are supposed to be a little better there. Uh, you do bring up farmers selling the farmers sitting on a huge inventory. They have not wanted to move it because of, no, well, for two reasons, really. One, because they don't like the price. Uh, and, and number two, it's just hasn't been great weather for Eating the truck out and digging the bin out and moving corn. That's what I did. Thanks for joining us. Tom Fitzmaurice with Summit Commodity Brokerage. We'll have more ad take coming up.